Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll look at how we can remotely connect from a Kali Linux machine to a Windows 11 machine. Now this uh, method can be used to connect also to a Windows 10 machine. Now the application we'll be using is called uh, Remina, and this one has to be installed. It doesn't come pre-installed with the Kali Linux. And the application uses a remote desktop protocol for the connection. So in order to do the installation, we'll need to open the terminal. So the first thing we'll need to do is update the repository. So we'll do sudo up, update. Now, once the, the updates are completed, we'll do the actual command for the installation of the Remina application. Okay, we'll do, um, this is the command to do the installation. So sudo up install, so it's a long command, dash y, Remina. Then Remina. Plugin. So this is the RDP plugin for the RDP protocol. And we have another plugin here called um, Secret that allows us to store uh, or to save passwords. And then another one here is for, it's a protocol for virtualized environments. It's called Spice. So I already uh, done the installation, so it didn't have to do the installation. Okay, once you have that done, we can open the application. And this is the graphical user interface for the application. To do a connection, you just click on the plus sign and then here you need to add you can call your connection a name say this connection so the protocol we are using is rdp remote desktop protocol you'll need the ip address for the remote device you'll need a username on that device and then a password so let's go to the windows 11 device to get the, the information which is the IP address, username, and password, and also to make sure that uh, remote desktop is enabled. So this is the Windows 11 device. The first thing we need to do is, go to, we'll need to go to the settings, then search for remote desktop settings which is right here and then you want to make sure that it's turned on and then another thing you can do is you can add remote desktop users so you can select who can remotely access this pc so you can click on this icon right here and then you can add so you need to have a, a local username that you can add here i already added a name you can add another name if you have a local username. If you don't have one, you can create one. And to do that, just type in use, type in users, click on add, and then we'll go with the other users. Just add account. And then we can just go with this option. We don't have the, the, the this person's sign in information then add a user without a microsoft account then let's call this user eno then you need to put in a password here the user and then the security question another one And another one. 
and then click on next and now we have a user local account user called uh, username Eno. now we'll go back to the remote desktop settings uh, remote desktop users add user you know check click ok now we have that user here you can click ok now we have a user and we have enabled remote desktop the next thing we want to do is just check for the ip so just um search for the command prompt or powershell And then do IP config. This is the IP right here 172.16.1.101. Okay, go back to Kali. Now we have the user, username is Eno. The IP is 172.16.1.101. And then we have the password. Another thing you can do is you can try and see if you can ping that device 172.16.1.101 and we are able to reach it it's pingable we go back to the application here okay we have all the information we need let's uh, click on that's all that we need uh, click on save you can save the that connection profile and then you can click on it so it's this one here with this ip of uh, 172.16.1.101 and you get this pop-up window with the certificate details accept uh, accept certificate yes so it's saying that another user is already signed in that's the uh, windows 11 device we just looked at that means we already signed in if we click on yes the whoever that's logged into it will be uh, logged off so we'll click yes and that the individual that signed in right now will be logged off and will be you know will be uh, log signed in as you can see here the user you know is logged in and uh, it's asking to choose the privacy settings for your device so th since this is the first time user Eno is logging in logging into this device there's some settings that need to be set up so here we'll go with the no 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 uh, click on next here accept so as you can see the user here is Eno Let's open the command prompt and look at the IP address. As you can see, this is the 172.16.1.101. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.